Konami is starting to piss a lot of Metal Gear fans off and we have every right to be angry. How's it going everyone? My name is Jackie Legs and in today's video we are going to discuss the rather idiotic posts that Konami has been making over on Twitter and how the development team continues to naively ignore its fans. Now before we get into the video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to get notified on all upcoming videos, and hit that like button as well as it helps my channel out a lot. Now let's get into this video. Now it comes as no surprise that Konami is once again making terrible choices when it comes to their AAA titles, and even poorer choices when it comes to how they approach their community and fans. And by poor choices, I mean this. Yeah, that is Old Snake from Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Well, at least a rendition of him. Actually, the image in the post is of a skin that you can unlock in Super Bomberman R online, ironically named Old Bomber Snake. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Super Bomberman R online, it is a free to play online battle royale. The player is automatically placed into one of many arenas and forced to battle it out against other players, using power-ups and strategy to eliminate everyone else and be the last bomber standing. It is actually a very fun and addicting game to play solo or with a group of friends, one of the few titles that Konami owns that is actually enjoyable. But back to the topic at hand. Additionally to the old snake skin, Konami actually went out of their way to have David Hayter, the original voice actor of the legendary Solid Snake, return and enter the recording studio and provide his voice for the character once more. I don't know what is in the water over at Konami, but I cannot believe that they thought this would be a smart move. Needless to say, but this post has left the community divided, with some of the fans still holding out hope that a Metal Gear Solid remake or remaster is still coming, and others that have completely had it with Konami and their ridiculous endeavors. And I have to admit, I am genuinely torn down the middle. Is this really the best that Konami can do for its longtime fans? Completely disregarding what their fans have been asking for, and instead bringing back one of the most beloved characters in video game history as a caricature and then throwing it in our faces? Konami seems to have completely given up on its AAA titles, and consequently, given up on its fans. I guess doing a collaboration between Bomberman and Fall Guys is the best Konami can do for us. But the lack of regard that Konami has shown for MGS has sparked the loyalty in its fans. Fans like Clint Mitch, whose YouTube channel will be in the description. If you guys are not subscribed to his channel, you should be so that you can stay up to date on his project. Clint has created a non-profit parody of the very first Metal Gear on NES, using the Unreal Engine 4, cleverly branded Steel Gear. Simplistic in its design, but just as stunning as the original game. For someone who never got the chance to play the first Metal Gears on NES, I would love to see Clint complete this fan-made remake. And that is going to be it for this video. It was a short one, but let me know what you guys think about this post down in the comments section. Do you guys think this return of Old Snake is a tease of things to come, or has Konami completely lost their mind? And with that said, if you guys have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to stay notified when I upload, and leave a like on the video. It definitely helps me out a lot. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, a link will be in the description. That is all from me, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.